Okay, now we're ready to apply logistic regression to the two other data sets uh, that we have uh, seen. So the first one is uh, the Pima Indians data set. So let me take the file. So Pima Indians, K nearest neighbor. So here we go. This is the one Pima Indians, K nearest neighbors. This is the one. So let us copy that one and then open the uh, the, coffee, uh, the copy so let's see here is the copy okay we open with collab and um, basically you will see that we don't need to do a lot of the pre-processing and it's actually very fast so let's call this file um, lr pima indians yeah and um, we can take away the first uh, text here don't worry uh, I will put in this uh, this text uh, this text in the notes uh, you will find it in the notes so here I see uh, SK learn PCA we will not do but the rest we will we will do yeah so here we go let's run this cell Should not give us uh, any issues and here of course we need to um, have Google Drive mounted because our file is there um, here also no changes this is all pre-processing of the uh, the data remember we had to um, fill up some missing data with median data so these are all the cells that I'm uh, executing here and then uh, train test split is uh, also pre-processing print train standardize this is the feature scaling we will delete these blocks and now it says now we're ready to use uh, k nearest neighbors yeah so we just gonna change that to logistic regression yeah so as simple as that so this one here we don't need this is again k nearest neighbor specific can delete here we try to find the best k yeah we can also delete this one okay this is the last one and let's replace this one with the uh, the block of code that we used in uh, the Reuters with that difference that here between the brackets nothing is there so that means that we're gonna do a binary classification uh, now let's see if we need to make any changes to the naming here I see X train let's just run it and see what it does okay X train is not listed and I remember well this should be a capital and then the same would be for X test lesson learned here is that you should be consistent with your uh, naming conventions yeah um, and here we go here we get a 72 percent uh, accuracy which is a bit worse than what we had with um, okay than what we had with uh, k nearest neighbors we can run some other um, metrics here it won't change a lot over oh, here as well I need to change the model yeah basically it's uh, it's worse than uh, K nearest neighbors but this is not that bad it's only two points uh, worse so there is a logistics regression we take these lines out and then run it See, ROC curve is, is not that brilliant, but okay. Um, we have an area of uh, 0.82. It's not too bad. Yeah. But this is how long it took us to, uh, to transform 
the uh, Pima Indians case to a linear uh, logistic regression case. Yeah, you've seen uh, the main block that I added is this block, and that's all what it takes. So when we go to the IMDb case, it's exactly the same.